Hi everyone, I'm back again for another quick reveal. Uh, we've got three tubs of potatoes to, to harvest today. Um, I think these ones are all purples as well as with the last video. I did actually harvest some non-purple potatoes uh, be uh, between these videos. So I really should have taken a video of those. But anyway, so more purples today. Let's get started with the first one. Okay, first off the rack is this one here. Uh, let's see, we've got a tetraploid here, number 115. Put the tag away. And let's see what we've got in here. So far it looks like it's only, it's only got small tubers, may not be a keeper, anyway, we'll see. Yeah, the plants, oh no, there's a few bigger ones here. That's not too bad, I don't mind those. Let's get the plants out and we'll, we'll have a better look, shall we? Looks like we've got two different varieties in here. This must be the pot that I remember putting a couple of um, just random tubers in. So we've got one with these big round ones and one plant with with these longer um, longer types. I'm going to cut one of these up on the fence. I have a feeling that I know what variety this is. Nope, it's not what I thought. It's got white flesh. Purple skin, white flesh. has lots of tubers of all sizes from big ones to little ones and they hold on tight to the plant Two of these round ones, well, sort of round, and one of the long ones. I'll get them together shortly. Let's see what we've got here. I'll put the round ones over here. There's lots of those. I think I'll keep that and see how it goes next year. Right, let's see about these long ones, these long red ones. I'll let the soil dry out this time. 
before I harvested them. A bit cleaner on the hands. Looks like that's it. So this is what we got out of the long red one. Could be worse. I'll go and cut one out open on the fence and see what the flesh is like. This one also has white flesh. So I'll put these away and we'll get on with the next tub. Right, time for the next one. This is uh, number 116. Now, as you'll remember, the ones that only have numbers as their names are ones that I thought might have potential last year so I put them in pots but I don't really know how they actually go okay so this one's a pink a, a pink uh, tubered variety it has very odd shaped tubers Very thick stolons. Uh, let's see. I really should learn to put them straight into bags. Yeah, really odd shaped all over the place. Three plants again in this this pot. I, I really like this uh, sort of mauvey coloured skin varieties. Just for the colour, I find that a lot of them don't have great flavour. Maybe I just haven't tasted enough. Look at that. Look at the thick stolons on these. It's so lumpy. Very interesting. I like interesting. I like unusual. A lot of seeds on this plant. Right, let's see if we've got any left in the soil here. I think that might be it. Right, we'll cut one open on the fence and see what it looks like inside. Hold on a sec. Oops, this one's starting to shoot. That's not a good sign. Okay, another one that's white inside. 
and give those a taste in a few days when they settle a bit and see what they what the flavours like. Right, we'll get rid of this and um, go on to the next pot. Right, next pot. I've decided to actually do four today because um, I just want to show you the fourth the fourth type. But anyway, let's see what we've got in this one. Right, this is number 118. This one's a diploid. Okay, it has, seems to have, at first sight, long stolons. Can't see a lot of tubers so far, but let's break it all. Lots and lots of small tubers, it looks like. Here they all are. With another pink skin variety. So much for me saying that these were all going to be purple. They're all red and pink. This was a long lumpy one. Small tubers, but you expect that with most diploids. Rightio, let's break the plants apart. This is what this is the sort of tubers you often get with the, the traditionally grown uh, varieties from South America. Quite fine. Well, yeah. You'll notice that on the last video I said that it'll be two weeks before I uh, do this video, but honestly, these were ready to, to harvest, so I thought, well, I'll just get on and do it. Not a bad harvest, even though the tubers are small, the harvest size is actually quite good for diploids. This is three plants, and um, I reckon we'll probably get close to a kilo from each plant, a bit less, maybe 800 grams. Still not too bad, considering there's still more in the soil here. Um, yes, please. Right, I think that's it. That's not a bad harvest for a diploid. Now let's go and look at, uh, we'll break one open on the fence and see what that's looked like inside. Just what I was hoping for, bright yellow flesh. Not as dark as, as some that I have or have, 
or had, but it's a lovely yellow flesh. Now I'll clean this up and then I'll go and um, get the last pot for today. Okay, this, uh, you may be wondering why I'm harvesting this plant when it just is covered in, in flowers. Well, it might surprise you that it's actually finishing flowering now. This is my best edimental potato, ed uh, edible ornamental. This is one you could put in your flower garden. It, f it flowers profusely with these lovely purple flowers for months, for two or three months until you harvest them. The tubers are not much to look at, they're very small, but it's really worth growing as, as an ornamental flowering plant. But I'll show you the tubers now. If I don't harvest them soon, they'll start sprouting in the ground. This one's called Violet Eyes. It's a, it's a bi-coloured purple and uh, white. And I think, damn it, I think it's got white flesh. It's a very pretty little tuber, but really I grow it for the flowers. So let's pull out these. There's two plants in here. Oh, actually some of the tubers are bigger than they usually grow and they're starting to sprout. So it's a uh, low dormancy type. Obviously it likes growing in pots better than in the ground. Well, like most of my potatoes, but anyway. But yeah, I've left this a bit late. Some, quite some long sprouts on some of these. Excuse the noise, it's my father bringing me some potting mix on his scooter. Don't worry Dad, I'm filming. Okay, so I'll have to re revise what I think of this potato because uh, the tubers are quite a reasonable size. Now I've been growing this for a few years. Um, even though it does sprout in the soil, it will um, carry over the winter quite well in a, in a dark or a semi-light um, condition. Just leave the, the sprouts on it and, and the, they won't do much until the warmer weather comes. Look at the sprout on that one. But since we started so early this year, I've got two more growing seasons to do. These will go straight back in the ground or in pots. And when these are ready to harvest again, I'll have enough time before frost to, to get another harvest out of them. Good year this year, three harvests. have a huge um, production but it's actually quite nice you can eat them as well as um, grow them for the flowers so I'll just go and cut one on the fence and we'll see what's inside it just as I remember, has white flesh. But they're a very lumpy potato with, with deep eyes, but still it has enough good characteristics that I will keep growing this. Okay, well thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. And the next video we'll have a look at uh, my TPS, my true potato seedlings in the ground. Uh, so, see you then.